when you are trying to download an application from the google play store you will see download pending message on the screen but if the android device stocks in the download pending message screen for a long time or forever then let us see how to fix this issue the first thing what you need to do is to make sure that you have strong internet connection in your device if you want to check whether there is internet connection in your mobile or not the easiest thing is to open any website or to open a youtube app and uh, play any video and if the video plays or if the website opens that means you have strong that means you have internet connection in your mobile if there is no internet connection in your mobile then you need to ch restart the router if you are using wi-fi or if you are using cellular data you need to make sure that you have enough data package left in your mobile the other thing what you can do is restart your android device sometimes simply restarting the android device fixes many of the issue i'm using noted so if i have to restart this noted i will press this power button and then i can select this option restart and restart this device so once the device is restarted try to download the application from the google play store again if by restarting your android device and if by uh, checking whether there is internet connection in your mobile or not still you will see the download pending message on the screen then you also need to check how much space is left in your device because whenever you download an app there should be enough space for the app to be downloaded and to be used so i will go to settings here i'll scroll down and go to device care and i will tap on this storage option here and i will check how much of space is left in my android device if you see at the top here out of 64 gigabyte i have used 30.2 gigabyte that means i have enough space for application to be downloaded and to be used I also can tap on this option clean now so that I can remove any unnecessary cached files or residual files and make some space in my Android device. The other thing what you can do is try to remove the cached files and data from Google Play Store and check if it works or not. For that one we will go to settings here, we will go to apps here, scroll down and look for Google Play Store, open it then we will go down and uh, select storage here then select clear data okay so once you clear the data from the google play store try to open google play store and check if you can install the application or not also what you can do is uh, you can go back to apps here tap on these three dotted icons go to system so system apps scroll down and then look for download manager here open it go to storage and clear the cache files clear the data for the download manager so after you do these things check if you can download the application or not now the next thing what you can do after this one is you can remove the current version of google play store from your device and use the factory version go to settings here go to apps here and then go to google play store tap on this uh, three dotted icons and select on install update and then second select ok so what does this do is this will remove the current version of the google play store and here google play store will go back to the factory state and then you can try to open google play store and download the application the last thing which you can try after this one is you can remove the google account which is right now associated with the google play store and then re-enter it again for that one we'll go to settings we will go to accounts we will go to accounts and suppose if this is the uh, google account which is used in your google play store tap on it and select remove account and then again remove account so once you have removed the google account from your android device 
you can add a new one so for that one we will go down and select add account and select google now either you can use the same google account or if you have a new one you can use a new google account so i will use the same google account which i remove and then select next and then i'll enter the password next i agree now i have added a google account to my android device now you need to go to the play store and then try to download the app again hopefully this step should fix this issue thank you for watching this video please like and share this video if you found it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free